In this video we're going to show you how to set the correct time on your security cameras. If you don't have the correct time then your video from your camera may be inadmissible in court should something happen. So how do we set the correct time? Start off, today is January 31st 2019 and for demonstration purposes this camera has an incorrect date and time. It's 10.53 a.m. whereas it's showing 8.55 here. If you're using a security camera, and specifically an IP camera, along with one of our NVRs, you don't want to set the time inside the camera itself. You want to set it on the NVR and make sure your NVR has the correct settings. Currently on this IP address, I'm logged in directly into an IP camera that I, we have of ours on our network, and I can see its settings right here. You should not touch any of these. The correct way to set time is by going into the NVR and when you set the correct time on the NVR and then connect the camera the camera queries that time from the NVR itself. So let's go over to our NVR. I'm logged into it using Internet Explorer and I'm going to go under Setup, System, General, Date and Time. Once I'm here I can set the date and time. I have already set it correctly for demonstration purposes here and, and this is what your time settings page on your NVR should look like. First I have daylight savings time. That's what DSD stands for enabled as week and you can look at these settings and copy them if you already don't have them set this way. And then I have NTP settings enabled for time.windows.com it's really important that you don't copy and paste this from anywhere. You type it in. If you have any other time servers set in there, type in time.windows.com. Do not copy and paste that, please. And then the interval. You can alter this depending on how crucial timekeeping is for your application. 60 minutes, though, serves to be OK. And then you can set preferences for how you want your date format to be displayed or time format to be under 24 hours or 12 hour but this is pretty standard. And the most important is your time zone. GMT minus 5 is Eastern Standard Time in the United States. Minus 6 is Central, minus 7 is Mountain Standard, and minus 8 is Pacific. You don't need to s s click this. If you've properly set these settings and hit OK, and you have the recorder plugged into the network, for these time for the NVR to go to time.windows.com and get the correct uh, time settings, you need to make sure it's plugged into the your network, there is internet access, and you have the correct internet settings on the recorder. We cover that in a different video, but I'll just quickly mention it here. You can go to network and TCP IP and make sure your DNS entries match what I have here. These are uh, you know, popular DNS entries to use. DNS is required for your NVR to access time.windows.com. So once that's all set, you've got the correct time settings configured on, on your NVR. When you add one of our security cameras, an IP camera specifically, onto the recorder, it will get the correct time. So here I'm going to go under Image, Registration, and I'm going to add the camera here. And what I'm going to do is try to squeeze in two windows to show you exactly what's happening. Right now this camera still has incorrect time. I'm going to go and add it. You can hit device search and add the camera. That's one way of doing it. And when you do that, hit add. It will automatically add it. You wait for this to refresh or you can manually hit the refresh button. Once it's checked screen, that means the camera connected to the recorder. You'll be able to see video on it. And then if you go to live, you can go under settings and try to refresh this and see if it got the correct time or not. If it does not, then there you're missing one crucial setting on your NVR. So go back under system, general, and then general you need to make sure you hit IPC time sync. If this is not enabled on your NVR, by default we send it out being enabled, but many times people uncheck this not understanding what it is. Press OK. 
Now, after every 24 hours, the NVR will make sure the camera has, or all the cameras on it, have the correct time. Now I'm going to go back here, hit refresh, and guess what? It just updated the time. And now it matches what I see on my Windows computer on the bottom right. So it's, the camera is not using any of its internal settings. It's getting them from the NVR, and it will keep that one camera, and every other camera will keep the correct time with the NVR. So the video from your security cameras or your security camera system can be used for evidentiary purposes. It's as simple as that. So if you have an IP camera system, an NVR system, a security camera system, this is how you set your settings. Now let's say you were using only one IP camera on your network, you did not have an NVR, and let's say you're using it as a standalone. How do you set correct time settings on that? So on purpose I'm going to mess up the date and time on this. What you would do is enable the DST and NTP. The clock.isc.org is not the preferred server. You want to change that to time.windows.com. Interval, let's set it for 10 minutes every time. And then change this to week. For DST, you want to set this to the top selection to March, 2nd to November, March 2nd week, November 1st. Both should be Sundays. At 2 a.m. Hit save. Now, granted, you have the correct settings for your network on the camera itself. So see, I have a DNS entries that are the same as what I have entered before. My NVR, my camera is also actually configured on the network so it can access the internet if it needed to. Now if I go back into system, my time just synced because the camera has network access to reach out to time.windows.com and get the updated time and it just updated it to be equal to what I have on my computer. I did not press sync PC, that's the, not the correct way to sync time because you're only doing it once. It won't keep on correcting its time if it's floating off. I hope that you find this video useful. Thank you for watching.